All right, guys, holy crap. Today, I am so excited. Today, we are going to talk about something that you guys have been asking me about for about two years, and that is the Spirit Halloween movie. Okay guys, yes, so I have kept quiet about this. I haven't made any kind of videos about it or anything because I wanted to make sure that it was 100% legit before I said anything about it. And guess what guys, it is. As soon as word got out that they were making a Spirit Halloween movie, people started asking me if I was in the movie. Yesterday, Variety put out an article and everybody picked up on it and it is all over the internet. We're gonna look at it today and see everything that we can find out about this movie. Starting with the go-to website, imdb.com, internetmoviedatabase.com, which will tell you anything you ever want to know about any movie. Well, maybe not everything, but a lot of stuff. So, we're going to start on there. I just pulled it up here. Spirit Halloween, and it is a legit movie with a director, a writer, and stars. Let's get into this, guys. It says, when a Halloween store opens in a deserted strip mall... Three friends, thinking they've outgrown trick-or-treating, decide to spend the night locked inside. But their night of spook-filled fun soon turns to outlandish survival. Now, that's part of the description. There's more of a description below, but we're going to roll down here and look at this a little bit. The top cast in this movie... Christopher Lloyd, who is best known for playing Doc Brown on the Back to the Future movies. He is the leading actor in this movie. How cool is that? Then we've got Rachel Lee Cook, Brad Carter, Marla Gibbs, who was actually on the Jeffersons back in the day. Marissa Rice, Dylan Martin Frankel, Jaden Smith, Donovan Colon, and Billy Roy. Now, a lot of these actors I do not know, but I definitely know Christopher Lloyd, Rachel Cook, Brad Carter, and Marla Gibbs. So that is a pretty awesome lineup for this movie already. Director is David Pogue. Writer is Billy Bates. This movie is being put out by Hideout Pictures, Particular Crowd, and Strike Back Studios. We've only got a couple of pictures here to look at, but the first one is apparently the movie poster, which is pretty cool, but I kind of doubt that that's going to be the final poster, only because it's been out for quite a while now, and when they put out a movie, they want to have something fresh and new, so I think that that's probably... If it is one of the posters, they're probably going to have several others and probably a totally different one for the theater. Now, looking at this poster, these three guys are inside a Spirit Halloween store. You can see how there's masks all around. Look at this. There's Ouija board down on the bottom, some pumpkin buckets for trick-or-treating, and then up above them, a few animatronics, including... Chuck E. Cheese, what in the world is that guy doing in there? I just watched Willy's Wonderland the other night about the animatronics that come alive inside what is basically a Chuck E. Cheese. It's got Nicolas Cage in it. A lot of you had told me I need to watch that movie, so I finally did. It was pretty cheesy. <laughs> But what do you expect from Nicolas Cage? He never said a word in the entire movie. I think he may have grunted once when he was playing pinball, but that's about it. So anyways, I hope this movie is nothing like that one. In fact, what I've heard is that it's going to be more along the lines of the Goonies, the Goosebumps, Monster Squad, stuff like that. More of a family-friendly Halloween movie, which I think is totally awesome and the perfect approach to this movie. And then we've got one more picture here of three boys and a girl... I don't know what they're looking at here. Something in a treasure chest. I don't know if that's actually a still from the movie. That does not look like it's inside a Spirit Halloween store. But, I don't know. It does look like the actors that they have on the list. So, maybe that is. There, there's a lot to learn about this movie, and I can't wait till it comes out. Okay, let's go to the plot summary here and read the longer description of what this movie is about. It says, When a new Spirit Halloween store appears in a deserted strip mall... I like it already. Three middle school friends who think they've outgrown trick-or-treating make a dare to spend the night locked inside the store Halloween night. But they soon find out that the store is haunted by an angry evil spirit 
who has possessed the creepy animatronic characters. The kids embark on a thrilling and spooky adventure in order to survive the night and avoid becoming possessed themselves. That sounds totally awesome, and it just, it already makes me think of the Goosebumps shows. If you guys have never watched those, you have to get online and watch them. Um, I don't know if they're on, like, Netflix or Prime or anything like that right now, but I do believe there's some of them on YouTube that you can watch. I love Goosebumps. So let's jump over here to the Variety uh, article real quick. Um, the headline just says, Spirit Halloween Store Film in the Works. Starring Christopher, Chris, Christopher, I can't even say it. The headline just says, Spirit Halloween Store Film in the Works. Starring Christopher Lloyd, Rachel Lee Cook. Exclusive. And here's a picture of them. Um, you may recognize them from some other movies. Uh, let's see. It basically just talks about how there's a lot of toy-related movies out there, but there was nothing for Halloween, and so now this is going to fill that void. Build as a family kids' adventure movie, the project stars Back to the Future's Christopher Lloyd and She's All That star Rachel Lee Cook, as well as some new faces. Filming on Spirit Halloween has now wrapped, with the production aiming for October 2022. So, if all goes as planned, guys, we are going to be in the theaters watching this movie this Halloween. Now, let's go over to a couple of other articles that I've seen over the years that are talking about the filming of this movie. This one is from the Rome News Tribune. That's Rome, Georgia, because that's apparently where they did some filming in a Toys R Us turned spirit Halloween store. The headline here just says, Film crew shooting part of a Halloween movie in Lindale, Lindale, Georgia, starring Christopher Lloyd. And they've got two pictures here just of trucks that apparently have wardrobe in them. There's the second picture there. It's just a, a production truck all closed up, so there's really nothing to see there. But part of this article says, Filming of a new Halloween movie began at a home on 2nd Street in Lindale Friday. Producer Michael Haggerty said the project is a kid's Halloween movie directed by David Pogue, Christopher Lloyd, better known as Doc in the Back to the Future franchise, and Rachel Lee Cook of Josie and the Pussycats fame will play the leading roles. The movie is slated to be released in late 2022. This is a fun kids Halloween movie, sort of in the vein of the Goonies or Goosebumps. That's what I'm talking about. After the crew finish filming in Lindale, more scenes will be shot in Rome over the next few weeks. The crew hired local families with kids to be extras in a trick-or-treat scene to be filmed on Avenue A. That sounds cool. Trick-or-treating is totally awesome. In fact, this shirt that I'm wearing right now is Halloween 3, which is not my favorite Halloween movie ever, but I do love it, and the first time I ever saw it, I was about 8 years old, and I was trick-or-treating, and we stopped by somebody's house, and as my dad was visiting with them, Halloween 3 was on the TV, and I was scared to death. The next one we're going to look at here is Hometown Headlines. This one is from December 5th of 2021, and it says, Updated. That's a movie crew at the former Toys R Us apparently preparing to shoot Spirit Halloween. And we've got a couple of pictures here of that Toys R Us store that has become a Spirit Halloween. And they've got some, uh, I don't know, some structures out there and stuff that where they were actually working on the movie. So that is really cool. I'm excited about that. There's some trucks right there. That's probably, I don't know, where some of the actors stayed or got ready or something. It doesn't really say very much more in this article that we haven't already read other places. But it is really cool to see the pictures of that uh, Toys R Us, which I also understand has actually been used as a Spirit Halloween store. And if we come on over here to Google Earth and just put in Toys R Us Rome, Georgia, it will take us directly to that location where I have to show you something pretty cool. This is an aerial view of this store, the store that they used in filming part of the movie. And if we go down to Street View, right in front of the store, you can see where it has the Toys R Us sign up there. You can see the old Jeffrey up here, which unfortunately his face is off. The Toys R Us sign that's still up. You can see like the multicolored entrance here, the entrance and the exit. Right over the exit here is where they would have had all that uh, movie equipment. But the cool thing is that if you back up a little bit here, one more, there you go. You can see how it changes and it becomes 
Ace Spirit Halloween. The letters are all covered up with black trash bags, and right above, you can see a tiny Spirit Halloween sign. Now, thank God that's not the sign they use in the movie. If we go back to the picture where they're filming the movie, you can see they have a much bigger Spirit Halloween sign out front. I, myself, would have gone with an even bigger one, but that looks pretty cool. I'm glad they didn't use that tiny one. So there are also plenty of other people on YouTube who have talked about this movie coming, but there is only one, surprisingly, that actually went to the location in Rome, Georgia, and filmed the store. Now, this was in December. This is on a channel called Playco Army. I think that's how you pronounce it. So if we watch a little bit of this video here, you can see where they pull right up to this Spirit Halloween location in Rome, Georgia. And again, this was filmed in December. So this is how it looked when they were actually filming long after Halloween. This is the actual movie set here. And, and I mean, I'm really excited about this. Now, if you want to go watch his whole video, I'll put a link below so you can check it out. But as you can see, he's over here looking in the windows so you can see what is actually a movie set in there even though it just looks like a regular spirit halloween there's a lot of different themes going on in here and it's difficult not to sit here and speculate what all this movie is going to be about i am super excited about it he's trying his best to see through the cracks to see what's in the store and some of it's really hazy but as you get down towards the end he finds a much better spot to see what's in the store and just seeing inside the store gets me excited already guys i cannot wait for this movie so there you have it. Unfortunately, that is all the information that we have about the Spirit Halloween movie so far. But we do know that it is a fact that it is coming and is supposed to be in theaters this Halloween 2022. I told you to stay away. Oh my God. <laughs>